Lao cuisine is the cuisine of Laos and Northeast Thailand, which is distinct from other Southeast Asian cuisines. The staple food of the Lao is steamed sticky rice, which is eaten by hand. In fact, the Lao eat more sticky rice than any other people in the world. Sticky rice is considered the essence of what it means to be Lao. It has been said that no matter where they are in the world, sticky rice will always be the glue that holds the Lao communities together, connecting them to their culture and to Laos. Often the Lao will refer to themselves as Luk Khao Niao, which can be translated as children or descendants of sticky rice. The most famous Lao dish is larb Lao, sometimes also spelled lop, a spicy mixture of marinated meat or fish that is sometimes raw, prepared like ceviche, with a variable combination of herbs, greens, and spices. Another Lao invention is a spicy green papaya salad dish known as tam mok hong Lao, more famously known to the West as Som Tam, Lao cuisine has many regional variations, corresponding in part to the fresh foods local to each region. A French legacy is still evident in the capital city, Vientiane, where baguettes are sold on the street and French restaurants are common and popular, which were first introduced when Laos was a part of French Indochina. <laughs> Lao cuisine origins The Lao originally came from a northern region that is now part of China. As they moved southward, they brought their traditions with them. Due to historical Lao migrations from Laos into neighboring regions, Lao cuisine has influenced the mainly Lao populated region of northeastern Thailand, and Lao foods were also introduced to Cambodia and northern Thailand, where the Lao have migrated. With the Colombian exchange, non-native crops such as tomato, papaya, corn, pineapple and chili peppers were introduced to Southeast Asia probably through the various sea ports of modern-day Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam via the Philippines and Malacca. Through trades with the Portuguese and Europeans, acceptance and cultivation of non-native crops and ingredients quickly spread throughout Southeast Asia. By the mid-1500s, the Europeans were already exploring and trading with mainland Southeast Asia reaching as far as Vientiane and Luang Prabang, Laos. Some of the more notable Europeans who had traveled as far as Vientiane and Luang Prabang or wrote extensively about their experiences were Fernão Mendes Pinto (1542–1545), Diogo Veloso and Blas Ruiz (1596), Gibard van Wustoff (1641), Giovanni Filippo de Marini (1642–1648), Jean Baptiste Palagua (1830), and Henri Muhat (1861). Simone de la Lubert (1642–1729) observed that the cultivation of the papaya was already widespread in Siam around the early 1700s, and by the time Jean Baptiste Palagua (1830) arrived as missionary to Bangkok, the papaya and chili peppers was already fully integrated in the Lao territory, dependencies, and the Southeast Asian food culture as a whole. According to Henri Muhat (May 15, 1826 to November 10, 1861), French explorer and discoverer of Angkor Wat, during his trip to Luang Prabang, Laos noted that the Laotians absolutely adores chili peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Lao and Thai cuisine In his book, Culture and Customs of Laos, Arne Kislenko noted the following about Lao cuisine. Any discussion about Lao cuisine cannot be limited to Laos. There are approximately six times more ethnic Lao in the ISAN region of northeastern Thailand than in Laos itself, which makes it necessary to go beyond national boundaries in search of definitively Lao food. In fact, with the recent droves of migrants from ISAN further south to Bangkok, the Thai capital has in many respects become the epicenter of Lao cuisine. Some estimate that more Lao are there than in any other city in the world, including Vientiane. There are also sizable expatriate communities in places like the United States and France that make for numerous culinary variations abroad. Despite there being more ethnic Lao living in Thailand than in Laos and Lao cuisine playing a pivotal role in making Thai food an international phenomenon, very little to no mention of the word Lao is found. This phenomenon is most likely the direct consequence of forced theification 1942 present, an official attempt to promote national unity and thainus where any mention of Lao and other non-Thai descriptors were removed and replaced with Northeastern Thai or ISAN. 
Consequently, theification has led to social discrimination against Northeasterners and the word Lao became a derogatory term. Being Lao was stigmatized as being uneducated and backward, thus causing many Northeasterners to be ashamed to be known as being Lao. More recently, as Lao identity loses its stigma, there is now a real sense of resurgence and pride in Lao identity, particularly among the ISAN youth. In the West, even with a sizable expatriate communities, Lao cuisine is still virtually unknown, even though much of what is served in Thai restaurants is likely to be Lao or Lao owned. In fact, unbeknownst to most people when they eat their favorite som tam, larb, and sticky rice at their favorite Thai or Northeastern Thai ISAN restaurants they are actually eating the Thai versions of traditional Lao food. This accidental reinforcement of theification by the expatriate Lao communities and Lao restaurateurs is well observed by Malifone Famasa and Celestine Detvangsa in their article, Lao American Ethnic Economy. Unlike, ethnic-specific stores, Lao-owned restaurants are doing better in reaching out to the general public. Although there are some restaurants that advertised as singularly Laotian, many Lao restaurants are established under the guise of Thai restaurants and Thai, Lao restaurants to entice mainstream customers. Because most Americans are unfamiliar with Laotian food, Lao entrepreneurs have aimed to acquire more business by advertising themselves as Thai restaurants, the latter have successfully achieved popularity with the mainstream population. These restaurateurs would then incorporate Lao dishes onto the menu. Although there are many similarities between Lao and Northern Thai cuisine, certain foods will distinguish a true Thai restaurant from a Lao-owned restaurant would be the inclusion of sticky rice on the menu. There is now a growing movement to promote Lao cuisine led by Chef Seng and executive chef Fet Schwader, to name a few. Ingredients Rice and noodles Rice Lao, Lao pronunciation, K -a -w. Glutinous rice, Lao, Lao pronunciation, K -a -w, Niao, a type of rice grown mainly in Southeast and East Asia, which has opaque grains, very low amylose content, and is especially sticky when cooked. Cellophane noodles, Lao, Lao pronunciation, Se, N, L, N, transparent noodles made from mung bean starch and water. Kao poon, Lao. Lao pronunciation, say, n, k, o, w, pun, are fresh rice noodles which are made from rice which has first been fermented for three days, boiled, and then made into noodles by pressing the resulting dough through a sieve into boiling water. Rice noodles, Lao, Lao pronunciation, say, n, f, noodles that are made from rice. This should not be confused with Vietnamese pho. Though the word has Vietnamese origin, the dish it refers to in Laos might not be the same as Vietnamese pho. Topic. Vegetables, herbs and spices Asian basil Lao, Isan, Ba Ra Fe Lao pronunciation, B U Grave A dot La dot P A acute eaten raw with Fu. Bamboo shoots Lao, Isan, HNX Mi Lao pronunciation, N, Maj, used in stews or boiled as a side dish. Banana flour Lao. Isan, Mac Pai Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, Pi Grave, a raw accompaniment to noodle soup or cooked in others. Chili pepper, Lao, Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, P8, Isan, Frick Lao pronunciation, Piak, seven popular types. Climbing waddle, Acacia, Lao, Isan, Pak Ka Lao pronunciation, Piak, K, used in soups, curries, omelets, and stir fries. Coriander, Cilantro, Lao, Lao pronunciation, P ak, H M, P M, I S A N, Pak C Lao pronunciation, P ak, S, both leaves and seeds added to dips, marinades, and a wide variety of dishes. Cucumber, Lao, I S A N, Mak Tang Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, T, eaten as a garnish or as a substitute for green papaya in salad. Galangal, Lao, I S A N, Ka pronounced K, typically used in soups, mixed dishes, and marinades. Garlic Lao, Isan, Kratium Lao pronunciation, Ka, Tim. Ginger flour Ginger root Lao, Isan, King Lao pronunciation, K. Kaffir lime Lao, pronounced Ma, K, K, I. 
Hoot, T, I S A N, Makrud M A A K K H I I Hoot, typically used in soups and stews. Kaipan Lao, I S A N, Kifane Lao pronunciation, K Aj, P N, dried sheets of edible Mekong River algae, similar to nori. Lao basil Lao, Lao pronunciation, P A K T I S A N, Manglak used in soups and stews. Lao coriander, Lao dill, used in stews and eaten raw. Lao eggplant Lao, I S A N, Mak Ku Lao pronunciation, Ma K, K A, small and round kermit eggplant, used in stews or eaten raw. Lemon grass Lao, I S A N, Ha Sing Ki pronounced Wa, C, K Aj, Wa Sing Kai, used in soups, stews and marinades. Lime Lao, I S A N, Mak Na Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, N A acute W, common ingredient to many dishes. Mint Lao, Lao pronunciation, Baj, H M, L A circumflex P, I S A N, by Sarahayan Lao pronunciation, B A grave J dot S A dot La dot N, used in goi, lop, and eaten raw. Midnight horror, Lao, I S A N, Mak Lin Mi Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, L I circumflex N, Maj, a bitter green, eaten raw. Mushrooms, Lao, I S A N, head Lao pronunciation, et, used in soups and stir fries. Neem Kadao Lao, ISAN, Pak Ka Dia Lao pronunciation, Piak, Ka, Da, Azadarashta Indica or Neem, a bitter vegetable often eaten raw. Papaya Green Lao, ISAN, Mak Hung pronounced Ma, K, Hu, shredded and used in spicy papaya salad. Rattan shoots, typically used in stews, bitter. Scarlet wisteria Lao. ISAN, DXK K Lao pronunciation, DK, K, Cisbania grandiflora, blossom eaten as vegetable in soups and curries. Sa Khan, Lao, ISAN, Sa Khan Lao pronunciation, Sa, K A circumflex N, stem of Piper rebesioides, used in stews. Shallot, Lao, ISAN, Ba Dang Lao pronunciation, Bua, D. Tamarind, Lao, ISAN, Mak Kam Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, Km, sour fruit used in soups or as a snack. Tamarind leaf, Lao, ISAN, by Mak Kam Lao pronunciation, B A grave J dot M A, K, Km, used in soups. Tomato, Lao, ISAN, Mak Len Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, Len, eaten as a garnish item or in papaya salad. Turkey berry, Lao, ISAN, Mak K ing Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, K, Selenum torvum, typically used in stews and curries. Water spinach, Lao, ISAN, Pak bung Lao pronunciation, Piak, Bu, Ipamia aquatica, stir fried, steamed, or eaten as raw vegetable accompaniment. Wild beetle leaves, Lao, ISAN, Pak shi laid Lao pronunciation, Piak, Lt, Piper sarmentosum, a green, eaten raw. Yanong leaf, Lao, ISAN, by Yanong Lao pronunciation, Baj, J, N A acute, used as a green coloring agent and as a seasoning or thickener for soups and stews. Yard long beans, Lao, ISAN, Mak Tha Lao pronunciation, Ma, K, T Ua, eaten raw, in stews, and can be made into a spicy bean salad. Tam Mak Thoa. Pastes and sauces Fish sauce, Nam Pa, clear fish sauce, Lao, ISAN, Napla Lao pronunciation, Nam, PA grave, used as a general condiment. Padak, Lao, ISAN, Pladak Lao pronunciation, PA grave, DK, Lao style fish paste. Soy sauce. Topic: <laughs> Meat. Century egg, Kai Niao Ma, lit. Horse urine egg, Lao, Lao pronunciation, K Aj Ja M A circumflex. Pig blood curd, Pork belly, Three layer pork, Lao, I S A N, C N Hamu Sam San Lao pronunciation, S I circumflex N, M, S M, San. Dried water buffalo skin, Lao, Lao pronunciation, Na, K M, used in Jeu Bong and stews. Fruits 
Fruits in Laos may consist of watermelon, pineapple, sugar apple, custard apple or sweetsop, longan, lychee, Asian pear, mango, rose apple, water apple, banana, jackfruit, rambutan, young coconut, orange, sweet tamarind, papaya, durian, sugarcane, pomelo, sapodilla, guava, star apple, mangosteen, melon, santal, longsot, grapes, korosalir, soursop, mok yam, and mok num nam. Melon carving is also a popular tradition in Laos, where artists may carve beautiful flowers and other designs into fruits such as watermelon. Fruit arrangements are also common, and these are done during special occasions such as weddings and other ceremonies. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen utensils The typical Lao stove, or brazier, is called a dao lo and is fueled by charcoal. It is shaped like a bucket, with room for a single pot or pan to sit on top. The wok, ma kang in Lao, is used for frying and stir-frying. Sticky rice is steamed inside of a bamboo basket, a huad, which sits on top of a pot, which is called the ma nung. A large, deep mortar called a khok is used for pounding tam mok hong and other foods. It is indispensable in the Lao kitchen. Cooking methods Grilling, boiling, stewing, steaming, searing and mixing as in salads are all traditional cooking methods. Stir-frying is now common, but considered to be a Chinese influence. Stews are often green in color, because of the large proportion of vegetables used as well as yanong leaf. Soups, stews are categorized as follows, tom, tom jud, kang, and kang sua. Ping means grilled. It is a favorite cooking method. Ping gai is grilled chicken, ping sin is grilled meat, and ping pa is grilled fish. Before grilling, the meat is typically seasoned with minced garlic, minced coriander root, minced galangal, salt, soy sauce, and fish sauce, each in varying quantities, if at all, according to preference. The Lao seem to prefer a longer grilling at lower heat. The result is grilled meat that is typically drier than what Westerners are accustomed to. The Lao probably prefer their food this way, because they wish to keep their hands dry and clean for handling sticky rice. They also typically eat the grilled food with a hot sauce of some sort, which takes away the dryness. Lao food differs from neighboring cuisines in multiple respects. One is that the Lao meal almost always includes a large quantity of fresh raw greens, vegetables and herbs served undressed on the side. Another is that savory dishes are never sweet. Sweet and sour is generally considered bizarre and foreign in Laos. Yet another is that some dishes are bitter. There is a saying in Lao cuisine, Van pen lom, hom pen ya, which can be translated as, sweet brings you down, bitter as medicine. A couple of the green herbs favored in Lao cuisine but generally ignored by their neighbors are mint and dill, both of paramount importance. Galangal is a cooking herb that is heavily favored in Laos, unlike in neighboring countries. It appears in probably the majority of Lao dishes, along with the conventional herbs, garlic, shallots, lemongrass, etc. Another distinctive characteristic of Lao food or more properly, Lao eating habits, is that food is frequently eaten at room temperature. This may be attributable to the fact that Lao food served with sticky rice is traditionally handled by hand. Eating customs. The traditional manner of eating was communal, with diners sitting on a reed mat on the wooden floor around a raised platform woven out of rattan called a ka -tok. Dishes are arranged on the ka -tok, which is of a standard size. Where there are many diners, multiple ka -toks will be prepared. Each ka -tok will have one or more baskets of sticky rice, which is shared by all the diners at the ka -tok. In recent times, eating at a ka -tok is the exception rather than the rule. The custom is maintained, however, at temples, where each monk is served his meal on a katok. Once food is placed on the katok it becomes a pha cow. In modern homes, the term for preparing the table for a meal is still tang pha cow, or prepare the phah cow. Traditionally, spoons were used only for soups and white rice, and chopsticks, my too, were used only for noodles. Most food was handled by hand. The reason this custom evolved is probably due to the fact that sticky rice can only be easily handled by hand. 
Lao meals typically consist of a soup dish, a grilled dish, a sauce, greens, and a stew or mixed dish, koi or lop. The greens are usually fresh raw greens, herbs and other vegetables, though depending on the dish they accompany, they could also be steamed or more typically, parboiled. Dishes are not eaten in sequence, the soup is sipped throughout the meal. Beverages, including water, are not typically a part of the meal. When guests are present, the meal is always a feast, with food made in quantities sufficient for twice the number of diners. For a host, not having enough food for guests would be humiliating. The custom is to close the rice basket, when one is finished eating. <laughs> <laughs> Dishes Dips. <laughs> 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 Jeyu Lao, the popular type of dipping sauce in Laos. Jeyu mak kua, made from roasted eggplant. Jeyu mak len, made from roasted sweet tomatoes. Jeyu bong, sweet and spicy paste made with roasted chilies, pork skin, galangal and other ingredients. Jeyu padak, made from fried padak, fish, roast garlic, chilies, lemon grass, and other ingredients. Topic. Appetizers Cap came Lao, are dishes served as snacks, before the main dish, or with beer. Kaipan – fried snack made of fresh water algae, usually served with jeyu bong. Kai kuam – stuffed eggs, upside down. Kai nug – steamed, boiled egg made by making a hole in the egg to remove the contents and pouring it back in after mixing the yolk with other ingredients. Kua pak bong, stir-fried water spinach. Luxine, Laotian beef meatballs. Mekong River moss, fried moss from the Mekong River. Miang. Sai ko, chunky pork sausage. Sai wa, grilled pork sausage. Sinhang, Laotian beef jerky that is flash-fried beef. Sin savan, thinly sliced beef jerky with sweeter taste and covered with sesame seeds. Sin tork. Som kai pa, pickled fish roe. Som mu, pickled pork with pork skin summer sausages. Som pa, pickled fish. Som pa cod, pickled greens. Som pa kai lum humu, pickled cabbage with pickled pork ears. Ya, Laotian pork roll. Known as Gio Lua in Vietnam. Ya dip, a type of spring roll made with rice paper, vermicelli, lettuce, and various fillings including shrimp. It's usually eaten with peanut sauce or Laotian sweet sauce. Known as goi goon in Vietnam. Ya jun, fried spring roll. <inaudible> <inaudible> Salads Sarad Lao, is a general name to describe a dish with mixed vegetables, herbs, and spices. Meat salads in Laos are known as larb or lop. Larb, a spicy Lao minced meat salad made with fermented fish and herbs. Various meats include fish, duck, chicken, pork, and beef, as well as mushrooms. Nam tok, a meat-based salad similar to larb. It can also be made into a stew. Pan, spicy puree of cooked fish. Tam som, is the following salads made with Lao chili peppers, lime juice, tomatoes, fish sauce, paste, and sugar. Crab paste and shrimp paste are optional. Tam Khao Poon, spicy vermicelli noodle salad. Tam Mok Guh, spicy plantain salad. Tam Mok Hong, spicy green papaya salad. Tum Nok Kua, spicy eggplant salad. Tam Mok Tang, spicy cucumber salad. Tam Mok Thua, spicy green long, yard beans salad. Topic. Soups and stews Kang Lao, lit. Soup. Kang Ju, vegetable and pork soup. Kang Gali, Lao curry. Kang Na Mai or soup Na Mai, a green stew made with bamboo shoots. Or, green vegetable stew. Or lamb, Luang Prabang style green vegetable stew. Tom Jiao Pa, spicy fish soup. Tom Kha Gai, a spicy and sour soup made with coconut milk, mushrooms, and chicken. Tom Padak, fish stewed in Padak. 
tom yum, a spicy and sour soup made with lemongrass, and various meats such as beef, chicken, pork, and shrimp or other seafood. Topic: <laughs> Grilled dishes. A han ping lao, lit. grilled food. Ping gai, grilled marinated chicken. Ping wa ped, grilled marinated duck head. It can be considered as an appetizer. Ping mu, grilled, marinated pork. Ping pa, grilled fish mixed with spices and herbs. Ping ped, grilled, marinated duck. Ping sin, grilled, marinated beef. Ping thien gai, grilled, marinated chicken feet. Sin dat, Laotian styled barbecue. Traditional meats and vegetables are seared on a dome shaped griddle. Topic. Steamed dishes A han nung lao, lit. Steamed food. Mok pa – fish steamed in banana leaf. Mok gai – chicken steamed in banana leaf. Mok kai Mok kai pa Ua dok k Titi gai – steak in a banana leaf wrap. Rice dishes A han cap cow lao, lit. Food with rice. are dishes made with rice as the main ingredient. In most Lao meals, glutinous rice known as cow niao, is a staple to the Laotian diet. Cow kua or cow fat, Laotian styled fried rice. Cow niao, steamed glutinous rice. Popularly known as sticky rice. This type of rice is usually kept in a bamboo basket and is shared among all diners. Different ingredients such as coconut milk and red beans can be added to make the rice into a sweet dessert. Cow piak cow lit, rice wet rice rice porridge. Toppings may contain blood curds, century eggs, fried onions or garlic, and scallions. Cow ping or cow chi, baked sticky rice seasoned with eggs. Cow chi is also another name for bread. Cow jiao or cow nung, steamed white rice. Jasmine rice is generally used. This type of rice is also used as an ingredient for many stir-fried dishes. Nam cow, crispy rice salad made with deep-fried rice balls, chunks of fermented pork sausage called sam mu, chopped peanuts, grated coconut, sliced scallions or shallots, mint, cilantro, lime juice, fish sauce, and other ingredients. Topic. Noodles Fu Lao, or Mi Lao. Noodles are popular dishes in northern and central Laos. These can vary from wet noodles, served with broth, or dry noodles, which are typically stir-fried. Fu, Laotian-styled pho, or rice noodle soup. Kang Sen Lan, soup made with glass noodles and meatballs. Cao piak sen, rice flour noodles in chicken broth. Similar to the Vietnamese dish, bon gun, and the Japanese dish, udon. Cao poon, rice vermicelli soup, also known as lao laksa. Kua meat, pan fried rice noodles topped with thinly sliced egg omelette. Lard na, stir fried noodles covered in gravy. Mi heng, wheat noodles with vegetables and meat. Mi kati, rice vermicelli made in coconut milk. Mi nam, wheat noodles in a broth of vegetables and meat. Pad lao, stir-fried noodles mixed with lightly scrambled egg. Similar to pad thai. Pad ki mao, stir-fried broad rice noodles. Pad si yu, stir-fried noodle dish made with Chinese broccoli, and beef, chicken, or seafood. Pad sen lan, stir-fried glass noodles. Suki, Laotian-styled sukiyaki. Yum sen lan, tangy salad made with glass noodles. Topic. Desserts Kong van Lao, lit. Sweet things. Lao desserts are generally made with the combination of tropical fruits and glutinous rice products. These can vary from types of cakes, to jelly, to drinks, and custards. Cow lamb, a sweet sticky rice dish made with red beans, coconut, coconut milk, and sugar prepared in bamboo. Kao niao mok muang, sticky rice with coconut and mango. 
Cow pard, jelly-like rice cake, unique for its layers. It's usually green from the use of pandan leaves as an ingredient. Cow tom, steamed rice wrapped in banana leaf. Various fillings include pork, bananas, and taro. Canum coke, coconut dumpling made on a griddle. It may be topped with green onions. Canum ma kang, coconut custard cake. Lod zong, a green, worm-like dessert made with rice jelly, coconut milk, and liquefied palm sugar. Nam van, a general name for a dessert which can contain tapioca and various fruits including durian, jack fruit, and water chestnuts. Songkaya, custard made with kabocha, a type of Asian squash. Voon, jelly made with coconut milk. Topic. Drinks Lao coffee is often called Pakzong coffee Café Pakzong in Lao, which is grown on the Bolovans Plateau around the town of Pakzong. This area is sometimes said to be the best place in Southeast Asia for coffee cultivation. Both Robusta and Arabica are grown in Laos, and if you ask for Arabica, there is a very good chance the proprietor will know what you are talking about. Most of the Arabica in Laos is consumed locally and most of the Robusta is exported to Thailand, where it goes into Nescafe. The custom in Laos is to drink coffee in glasses, with condensed milk in the bottom, followed by a chaser of green tea. The highly regarded tea is also grown on the Bolovans Plateau. There are two general types of traditional alcoholic beverages, both produced from rice, Lao Hai and Lao Lao. Lao Hai means jar alcohol and is served from an earthen jar. It is communally and competitively drunk through straws at festive occasions. It can be likened to sake in appearance and flavor. Lao Lao or Lao alcohol is more like a whiskey. It is also called Lao Kao or, in English, white alcohol. However, there is also a popular variant of Lao Lao made from purple rice, which has a pinkish hue. In more recent times, the Lao state-owned breweries Birlao has become ubiquitous in Laos and is highly regarded by expatriates and residents alike. The Bangkok Post has described it as the Dom Perignon of Asian beers. In 2004, Time magazine described it as Asia's best beer. In June 2005, it beat 40 other brews to take the silver prize at Russia's Osiris Beer Festival, which it had entered for the first time. Non-alcoholic Cafe, Laotian coffee Nam oi, sugarcane juice. Nam pun, smoothie. Nam mok pao, coconut juice, with or without coconut meat. Oliang, iced coffee, black or with condensed milk. Sa, Laotian tea. Topic: <laughs> Alcoholic. Beer lao. Lao cow, Laotian rice wine. Lao Lao, Laotian whiskey. Lao Hai, Laotian rice wine made with glutinous rice. Topic. See also. Cambodian cuisine. Mung cuisine. Thai cuisine. Vietnamese cuisine. Phia Sing. Topic. Further reading Zaksana Champanakone, 2010. Lao Cooking and the Essence of Life. Vientian Publishing ISBN 978 9932 61 6.